Nati Dinar, welcome to Jerusalem Dateline. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. You've made a, a brilliant uh, three-part documentary, Iron Dome. Tell us why you made that film and what it's about. Well, actually, we, we made it, the film I made with uh, my director, Uri Baron. Um, we wanted to explore the story of uh, the making of Iron Dome as a life-saving weapon system. And we found out that the story is much bigger than just uh, an army system. It's a big story. It's about the story of, of people under threat of decision making and, and, and ingenuity and the genius of the Israeli engineers. Tell us a little more about what the film is about. It actually tells the historic story of uh, when the rocket threat started in 2001 from rockets fired uh, from Gaza to the nearest city of Zderot, which is probably two kilometers away. At the beginning it was just um, all kinds of stupid rockets falling, nobody getting hurt. Mm -hmm. For the first time when there were death casualty, Peter understood this threat is not a game, and one person named Danny Gold, who was in the Ministry of Security in charge of research and development, said, okay, we have to tackle this threat. It's a new threat, and we have to try to find a solution. And he initiated the search of how can you protect from rockets falling from the sky. And how long were you working on this film, and how many people did you interview? It's seemed like there were a lot of people involved. Well, it, uh, yes, the idea started in 2015. I wanted to meet Danny Gold and understand the story. I thought it was a one-man story. And here's this guy, he has an idea, he starts moving things along. And just like making a film, it's never about the guy having the idea and pushing it forward. It's a lot of people that have to be involved. And we started researching and, and talking to people. I think we, in our research, we probably interviewed over 100 people from all aspects and uh, until we decided how we want to tell the story. And at a certain point we understood that the story is not about how rockets hit each other in the sky or how you develop them. This is a human story about people living in threat 24-7 and people trying to protect them, whether they are decision makers or engineers. And we eventually said we want to make an historic uh, uh, piece, but told in a personal way. And in the series, I think there's about 40 characters who give their point of view. And we feel that when you give the multiple point of view of everybody involved, people can understand both the threat and the amazing story of how this Iron Dome system came to life. What impacted you the most in making the film? I think it was uh, when we understood that this series, it is about a specific story about rockets and Iron Dome. But if you look through the three episodes, you will understand how Israel works, how things happen here in Israel, how things get done, how politics gets into the game, how personal ego gets into the game, how the money affects decision making, and how we have unbelievable people uh, for this in why Israel is a startup nation that can do the unbelievable uh, in, in low budget and in, in very uh, short time. And I think this is what we understand, this is what we wanted to convey, that you see how it works with Iron Dome, you can probably understand how Israel is dealing with coronavirus. Okay. It's probably not that different. <laughs> people are telling us what to do now and people behind in the closed doors and, and in the back offices are thinking, how can we protect the citizens of Israel with our ingenuity? Okay, so just tell us real quick, how can people see the film in the United States or wherever else they are? Well, luckily, uh, we managed to secure a license deal with uh, Easy, IZZY, a new streaming platform that brings the content from Israel to the world. It's very easy to search, just do IZZY on the web, sign up. It's $5 a month. You get hundreds of hours of content. Iron Dome is uh, one of them, but there's, gonna, there's a lot of uh, great Israeli creators making, uh, telling Israeli stories, and finally there's a platform that can showcase it to the world. Okay, Nati Dinar, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.